Okay, uh, let's do um, let's do um, the first lab. Uh, the packet tracer configuration VLAN. Okay, so if you look at this uh, configurations, you notice that PC1 and PC4 they are in the same network. Uh, because look at IP and that's the their network address. 10, right? That, dot 10. And PC4 is dot 10, so they're in the same network. So when you try to ping, right, ping from PC1 uh, to PC4, you should you should able to ping. Likewise, you know, um, say ping. Right, you can ping. So you should able to ping from PC2 and PC5 because they're in the same network. And likewise, it's 3 to 6. But as you can see, um, this is like before configuring uh, VLANs, right? So then, what what is the benefit of um, what is the benefit of having um, what is the benefit of having uh, VLANs? Okay, the benefit is what you can uh, we can have what broadstorm mitigation because the more broadcast uh, domains, the better, right? And yes, and then another thing is the security. We can have by providing VLANs, we can have a really complete the segregation between our VLAN. I mean the LANs. So let's configure VLAN on S one. So you have to create 10, 20, 30, and 99 VLANs, and you have to name them. Okay, so I create VLAN 10 and name as faculty staff. By the way, make sure that you, uh, if you misspell this, then you'll not get any points. So make sure that you should, um, you just follow the instructions. Okay, you cannot misspell this students and guest. So I got five points. VLAN, I create VLAN 20 and then what? Name students. Okay, and then what? VLAN 30, name guest, default. Fill in 99 and then name as management M A N A G native. Okay, so after this, I should get 20. So you should get 20 out of 90. Then you have to do the same thing for S2. Oh, by the way, after you do this, you have to go to show VLAN brief, right? And it shows that I create these four VLANs. Go to S2, and I have to do the same thing. Go to, oops, what uh, VLAN ten? By the way, let's say you misspelled you know uh, this name and then you want to remove the uh, that name then you can say no n o no name and this so basically if you nullify the previous command you just simply not um, most of the time you simply add n o no and then the previous command
So at this point, I got 40. Let's go to um, next one. Freelance 30, and then what? Name guest F A U L T, right? Okay, good. And then um, Freelance 99, and name as management, and then native. Okay, good. So, and show VLAN brief. Okay, so at this point, I finished creating the VLANs for all three uh, switches, and I got 60, right? 60 out of 90. 60 out of 90. Okay, the next one is as you, uh, I have to assign VLANs to a uh, this port. So VLAN 10 to VLAN 10 to port 11 and VLAN 20 to port 18 and 30 to 6. So go to S2. So go to exit. So in the configuration mode, I have to say go to interface, go to 11, then assign VLAN 10, switch port, access VLAN. What? 10, right? And then since this is what? This is uh, access mode, I have to say access. Oops. And then go to interface uh, 18. And then switch port, what? Uh, access VLAN uh, 20. And since this is access mode, access port, my mode is access mode. And then go to the last one. Well, VLAN number 30. And then this is, uh, let's see, oh, this is a what, um, access mode, right? Okay, at this point I have to have a 75 and next one is I do the same thing. And then what um configuration so go to interface 11 and then switch port access VLAN 10, right? And then this should be access mode. And then go to uh, 18. And then what? This is switch port access VLAN 20. And then this is uh, mode, access mode. And then interface. Okay, so that's it. Um, now the last one is verify the loss of connectivity. So from PC1, let's ping the PC4 in the same network. So 
So you cannot able to ping, right? Why not? Why the ping is not successful? The reason is, if you look at the S1, we have not yet configured uh, this gigabyte port 1 and 2 as a uh, trunk port, right? But that's why you cannot ping uh, from PC1 to PC4. So the reason is we should um, we have not yet configured um, we have not configured this uh, port one and port two as a trunk ports, right? That's the uh, the main problem. Okay, so that's the end of uh, lab.